the media can only write or highlight and the media has not failed to highlight cases of corruption breaches of trust and unconduct but what do we do in extreme cases we have supporters of the people written about attacking media but otherwise we have the people written about getting elected by the same people because journalists will not arrest they can only put a story out. We have had a fair share of major disclosures on media, electronic and uh, print and other media, and nothing happened. The media cannot arrest. The media cannot organize a protest. The best they can do is bring to light what we think is ethical or misconduct or violations of uh, the law so that the right people should act. And the layers of acting, are we call them duty bearers. Is it either the police? Is it ESCC or is it the churches, is it NGOs or is it the citizens? And we say that uh, sometimes the citizens, the last line of defense, in a few cases they go and attack the media for writing about their people. You are writing about our thief. He's a thief, but he's our thief. So what can the media do? So as we continue engaging this, I think it's around about agreeing about the ecosystem of ethics and anti-corruption fight. And if anyone in the entire ecosystem drops the ball, who will have either the media wasting acres of newspaper space and airtime, or have ESCC sending recommendations to people who ignore, or have NGOs like Sheila in town doing a lot of demonstrations and uh, helping the police deplete their stock of tear gas and batons and dogs, and nothing happening.